wounds, a lot of hurt, a lot of disrespect, dysfunction, all that pain and anxiety and abandonment, it, it starts to rot in your womb. That energy starts to reverberate through your womb and start breaking your womb down or it turns into cysts and cancerous tumors. And they tell you, oh, well, you know, it just happens. We don't know. It's just how it happens. Let's, so let's go ahead and set up surgery or go and take this or that. And it's really not that at all. It's all about energy medicine and about the building up of dysfunctional energy, and you're not letting the energy out so it stays in, in your womb. Everything registers in our womb, and it starts to build. I don't know. I got your message about the herbs. I don't know. I, I thought about it, but I don't know. Well, definitely, yeah, I'm going to keep mine, too. My, my organs are vital. And that's y'all, you, you shouldn't be in a hurry to get your tonsils, your appendix, none of your organs. You shouldn't be in a hurry for these people to take your stuff out of you, telling you, oh, it's infected. You don't have to lose your tonsils because you get a tonsil infection. There's a way to save them. Yeah, I had to get my wisdom teeth out because I didn't have any room in my mouth. So if I didn't get them taken out, they were going to, like, clutter up all my teeth. So I know under those circumstances you can't help it. You know I'm saying? Just to be getting stuff out because they tell you you need to get stuff out. You really need to rethink that and listen to your body and listen to the organ, letting you know if it wants you to take it out. Because a lot of those organs that we have are very important parts of spiritual, sexual, and telepathic communication. A lot of times people, the doctors say, well, the appendix doesn't mean anything. It's just there. They are saying that they don't know what it means. But our body is older than this medical establishment, and we've been told not to get in touch with it. So you don't know what the appendix is because the doctors tell you they don't know what it is and it don't mean nothing. Yes, it does. Everything down to your fingernail has a divine purpose, and it communicates with everything else. It's a whole part of a system. Yeah, definitely, your pineal gland because it's, yeah, quietly as it kept, a lot of bodies when they're dead, Certain folks be digging folks' pineal gland out of them and eating them and keeping them and, you know. Yeah, I mean, what do you mean, Red King? Uh, what, when we had that deep show that day about bodies and embalming and them liking to eat, a lot of people liking to eat um, pineal and pituitary glands of people and the adrenal glands and, mm-hmm. Yeah, they like to eat them and do rituals with them. People, you know, higher up that you wouldn't suspect. So, it's, you know, a lot of us don't have value. The pineal gland is in your brain, and it's, uh, I don't know all the details of it right now to tell you, but I know it's a part of helping with our hormones. We need our pineal gland. It's also too helping with your third eye and spiritual communication. And people with melanin in them have very powerful pineal glands and psychic abilities, but you're told not to trust them or look at them or you're told you're crazy and you're told not to develop them. So that's why it's so important to keep as many of your glands as possible. Keep as many of your organs as possible. Try to, because if your your body is dysfunctional and a gland is sick, if, if energy is not moving through a particular area of your body, you, you're welcome, Erin. Then that means that um, the energy is not flowing through it properly, and so it can't do its job. So basically you have to move the obstruction in that organ that's causing it to act up, and then the body will heal itself. It doesn't necessarily mean you need to go in there and cut it out unless you wait it so long and abuse your body so much so it becomes so diseased that the best thing they could do is take it out because, it, you know, you it's just been too far gone. But you, thank you, Arnasia, but you have to stop that from happening because you have to become aware. You have to actually become aware who you are, how your body functions, what it is, and that you need it. Did you? I want to make sure I didn't miss you, Red King. Did I miss anybody? I'm trying to see if anybody had any more comments or questions on the phone. Oh. Before the show ends, what, oh, Kiri, what kind of rituals do I practice? Well, I mean, I'm just spiritual, so I'm not a Christian anymore. And I acknowledge nature, you know, in the in the universe and African teachings. Do Eastern folks all have the medical problem we have in America? 
No, a lot of them don't because they don't practice as we do. And, and when you're dealing with Asian medicine and Tai Chi and Qigong, and they realize the power of energy and balancing energy. So they work on things energetically and with herbs. Okay, what's your area code, Red King? So I will know know which one you're you're at. So I'll, I'll know which which line to pick up. Yeah, Bessie, just okay. Make sure you read the right books, giving you the right information. Hey, Red King, you there? How's it going? It's fine. Good, good. I just wanted to say thank you for the show. Um, I want to thank you because actually um, I was telling uh, uh, one of the blog talkers on here, they came to me because they knew I knew a little something about vitamins and stuff, but I actually referred them to some links and referred them to one of your shows you did, I think, with the Herb Lady mm-hmm. a few weeks ago, yeah, because she was going through something. I couldn't find the video on, um, I think you did like this YouTube video with the vegetable juice thing or... Yeah, they took that video down with the collard green juice and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this show has been really, really good. You know, I always tell people about you know the you know the the old, there's always a spiritual aspect to a lot of this stuff, and people don't want to believe it, but yet you know they get suckered into a lot of uh, of this nonsense and everything. So, but I do thank you for doing the show today and everything, and and um. What you're saying is true because a lot of this stuff starts to shut down your body, your third eye, with these chemicals that they've been using, putting out there and such. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, and even when you were saying about the the surgeries before, you were saying like the the and I you know I remember looking into it because I said I know they do these rituals and stuff with the foreskins and then I kind of thought about how they try to get people to you know get their children circumcised almost because number one you get paid a lot of money but they don't necessarily throw this stuff away. In the incinerator and stuff. Okay, they, they just use tell a lot us of they this, do. Yeah, they use a lot of this stuff for, you know, um, a lot of the rituals. But back to the thing about rituals. Yeah, I know some weird stuff happened because I did a ritual with myself uh, <laughs> during the phase of a full moon. Uh, mm-hmm. I think it was in October, and every month since then, it's just been weird. Like the three days of the full moon, I feel like this weird energy just comes over me and stuff. Doing that, but I know they work to an extent. I mean, I mean, you're getting rid of negativity and and stuff. And you were sowing the money with the bath and, and the spiritual baths and stuff with sea salts and even with certain oils that supposedly attract certain things like patchouli and 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 mm-hmm. lemongrass. You know, and I was saying lemongrass. Uh, if you put it on, it lifts the spirit. It lifts the mental um, lemongrass or sometimes tangerine or orange or citrus stuff. It lifts the spirit a lot of times. A lot of times if people burn a little in a burner or even if, you know, you don't have it, save your orange pills, put them out in the sun, let them dry out, sit them in a bowl of hot water with tea, and it will fumigate the room, and it will get you into more of a state of of, of a happier mind versus a depressed state mm-hmm. doing that. Mm-hmm. And I just got to read on the thing about candle magic and, 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 and intention and doing these these ancient practices, getting in touch with the ancestors, because, you know, I dabble a little, little, little voodoo or, or close to with my ancestors and ancestor spirits, and Grand Evo is the one in, in Haitian voodoo who whispers wisdom and teaches you about herbs and stuff in that. Mm. But um, a lot of this is so true, and I think people have been taught, and I thank you for just reiter- reiter- reiterating, you know, things that you can do to connect with, the spiritual plane because so many people have been brainwashed to think it's not true, it doesn't work, and it does. Now, sometimes I, you know, might be going, I do something that is a little off and thinking, like, what's going on here? Like, I took a spiritual bath during the phase of the full moon, sit down in the full moon, and like I said, something happened because every month since then, it's just this weird energy that I just get almost drained. Mm. And, and, you know, some things I look into and then I have to call somebody up saying, what do you think this is? But, they do work. I think people have just been shied away from it or lied to and don't want to connect with that. And also doing that, you are connecting with your ancestors, your intuition. Your personal ancestors are the ones who are closest to you. So the deceased relatives like great-great-grandmother, great-grandfather, they're closer and they can actually do more and would even guide you a little easier than some of the higher ones once you get up there, you know. But see, that's what I was saying, too, about sex. It don't matter what rituals you do. If Mm -hmm. you're having sex 
with the wrong person or a yeah. person projecting energies on you to bind you as a, a psychic yep. sex slave. 